so once your account is upgraded to vendor account you will be logged out and expected to log in again by logging now i'm going to see my vendor account this is the vendor features you will get approved to start using state court as a vendor is that not beautiful that's very very beautiful of course i'm going to say everything zero 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 so the next thing you want to do is to then publish your products and currently now as state court we accept physical products we accept digital products and of course we accept services so you click on vendor dashboard everything you're going to see your data here and then you click on publish product let's attempt publishing a product so right now i'm going to go ahead to publish my own product on the platform if you want to see me do that say hi <laughs> so i'm quickly going to pull in my product one of my products i'm going to use for this demonstration so i just need to put first of all the product name when i put the product description the product description is basically a little explanation of what your product is about it's very important we don't make it very lengthy all right so i'll just place a very simple description of my product and then i'll select the category falls under affiliate marketing so affiliate marketer product type is a digital product the default currency is usd so you have to make your conversion to usd right we accept multiple currencies on our platform but the base currency is USD, right? So today I want to use my product at $25. And this is the commission percentage. How much bet what percentage do you want to give your affiliates? If you want to give them zero, please input zero. If you want to give them 500 and 50%, rather give them 50. If you want to give them 100 percent give them 100. But remember, is max of 100, zero to 100. So I'm going to gain 50% because I want my affiliates to enjoy 50% commission on this particular product. Then I will have to choose how to approve my affiliates. Do I want everyone on the platform to promote my product? Or do I want a specific um, 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 affiliate to promote my product? So it depends. So you want to manually approve people that promote your product. You select manual. Manual means that for someone to promote your product, they have to request for approval. And once you approve them, they can't promote your product. So, but for now, I want everyone on the platform to promote my product. I want automatic, you know. So, the next thing you want to do is to fill up your URL for your sales page. So, I'm going to show you guys something very quickly. So, this is my sales page, right? I just pulled it in now. This is my sales page. And I'm going to use the sales page to sell my product. If I scroll to this sales page, you're going to see how nice it is. Right? Now, I don't need to host my sales page on StateCut. I just need to put the URL. All right? So I'll just copy the URL here of my sales page. And I'll go to the box here and put the URL of my sales page. Now, there's another URL. The URL of your thank you page. Okay? So you have to know the URL of your thank you page. And that's what I'm also going to put here. This should be kind of private, right? It really shouldn't be public. I wouldn't show you the thank you page of my products, right? But let us say success. Let us call it success, right? Of course, it's not success. Then you put the thank you page. That's the page you want people to see after you have paid for your product. The page you want to give instructions of how they are going to access that which they paid for. Or if it's for physical product, the thank you page to tell them that hey, we are shipping out your product. The next line is your JB page. Your JB page is your marketing page, the page where you have prepared marketing resources for your affiliate marketers to get maybe email swipes, um, um, copies, ad copies, or maybe videos, webinar videos, any content you want to give out to them. Put it somewhere on your website and paste the link right here. All right. So for my case, I'm going to copy the marketing resource page for this my particular product. And I've pasted it. Right. Oh, I'm sorry, you guys, you're not seeing that part. I've pasted it, so I have the URL of to my product download or thank you page, and I have the URL of my JV page or marketing resource page. Once I've done this, the next thing I need to do is to impute the picture of my product. 
Feature is very, very important for us for you to really get your product approved on Stakeholder very, very easily. So what you want to do now is to select your picture. Remember, please, that the picture of your product must be the picture that talks more, that really lays emphasis on your product. It's a picture that explains your product and it should not be more than two megabytes. So we are even recommending you take um, get a proper picture for your product that is not heavy. Right? Remember the cap two megabytes. Yes, it should be rejected. Right? So I'm going to select my product picture and that's it there. And the next I will just do very simple. If I've verified all the information here are correct, the next thing I will just do is to click on the next button. And then we we'll wait for state courts to do the magic. Woo! It says success. And then it directs us to the next page. You can see, you can see success. And we're on the next page. Next page is the integration page where you have to integrate your product, right? Where you have to integrate your sales page to stake code. This integration is very important because this is what will get your product approved easily and also get you to use our payment gateway, enjoy our affiliate network, and every other thing. So it's a very simple step. Now, step one is copy and paste pixel code on your sales page. So the instruction is here, kindly copy this pixel code below and insert it in your sales page that has a custom script. If you don't know how to do this again, you want to watch this particular video over and over again, you can always click here and watch this video I'm recording right now over and over. So we are going to copy this code here. here. We are going to click on this button and it's copied. We will just copy this code and go straight to our website and include it on the header. So this is my website. I use Tribe Architect to design it. So I'm going to click Edit with Tribe Architect. Okay, and it's going to open the page builder section for me. If you are using Elementor, the same process. If you are using a custom HTML website, it's also the same process. The goal is make sure you paste the code on the header of your website. So, I'm, for those using Tribe Architect, I'm going to click on settings, I'll go to advanced settings, and I'll click on custom scripts. You can see custom scripts. Make sure that you are inserting this pixel code only on your sales page, not on your entire website. We don't want to bug your whole entire website. We just need the sales page that you are using to promote this product. They sell your exact URL that you submitted for us while adding your product. So you go to the header section. Remember the header section and you paste the code. I pasted the code. That's a very simple process. And then you save, right? Once you paste the code, that's all you, don't, you just need to do. There's nothing else you have to do. You save. I'm going to save mine now. And it's saved. Right, it's saved. So what we just need to do is close this back. And that's all. We're not going to touch this again. And we'll go back to our website. To stay caught. So we have done step one. Very easy to go. Very easy to do step. The next step is generate your pay button. Now you have included our pixel on your website, you have to generate your payment button, right? So we have found picked high converting CTAs for you to pay. All you need for you to include on your website, all you need to do is to select a button type. So we'll click this drop down and to load up the buttons available. These are high converting buttons. I'll select this button, this, that's the button I want to work with, and it's going to preview for you here. And then you see how it will look like. All I just need to do is to copy this so for every button you do you select there is always a code generated here right here right here so if i select another button let's say i want this other button it's going to generate the code for me if i select another button it's going to generate the code for me for every button you select it has its own code so let's say i want to use this button of course i want to go for this button first i've selected it then i copy this code right Please, this integration is very important. And then go back to my sales page and anywhere I want to put in my CTA. For example, right now I have a CTA here. I have to replace the CTA with this payment button. All right. So I will just click add custom HTML. Right. This applies for everyone, for any type of website. Applies for everyone, for every type of website. And then you paste the code. 
right? You can see I've pasted the code. That's all you need to do. And you click on save. <coughs> Excuse me. The button appears immediately. So now what you now have to do is now place the button properly. I want to centralize them. I want it to be here. I've replaced my CTA button with this button. Okay, that's step one. All I just need to do is to pop this off, right? Pop it off, and then I have this one settled here, and it looks so good, and I, I even prefer it. Then I scroll down again. Any other place you have your CTA or your button tag, you replace it with any of these buttons. So I can decide to select another button. Let's go for another button. Let's go for this button now. I love this button. I select it, copy it. I go back to my sales page and I click on custom HTML. All right. I will just place it here. This time I want it to be somewhere here. And then I will paste the code. Now click on OK. And the code appears. I, all I just need to do is to centralize it. So it stays at the middle. Beg your pardon. I will have to put it somewhere else here. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay, so you just include that on your page. Meanwhile, you're going to pop this up first, please. And then the next thing you want to do is to go stretch any other place you want to put your CTA. Yes, I want to put it here. I have another CTA somewhere here, somewhere here, right? I want to insert it here. I'll go copy the custom HTML, put it right here, and paste the code. Save. And I centralize it and it stays. I pop this one off. That's all. So we can then rewrite our, for example, I'm using 14,900 there. I can then write the amount I listed on state court, and that amount was $25, which is equivalent to 15,000 naira also, right? So I can tell them it's, it's $25, but if I want to leave it in naira, I can just leave it at 15,000 naira. So the amount on your website should match with the amount you submitted as a court website. So that's all. All I just need to do right now is to click on save. Save. All right. And it's saved. Tada, you saved the page. And then I have to go back to state court and tell, hey, state court, I'm done. I agree to everything and every guideline. Read this instruction, however. And then you click on save. And this is the amazing information we are going to get. It says, we're going to read it together, right? It says, you have certainly queued your product for publishing. It will be approved within 24, 48 hours. So check your product menu option to assess the current status of your product. So make sure you remove every external link on your sales page, else the product will be approved. So you really want to do that. Then click on continue. And that's all. So we have created our very own product on the state court website so once we have your product approved you're going to get a notification that hey bro your product has been approved and of course you can always track the steps of your submission you see submitted once approved you're going to see approved once it's approved you come back here and then publish it but now i can't publish it because it's not approved however you can look at if you want to reintegrate it or maybe you made the mistake you want to effect back the integration you always come back here and click on settings and then complete your integration again all right so it's a very simple process on listing your product on stakeout i hope this video is very helpful for you and if you like it let me get a comment in the comment section or just give a thumbs up to this video thank you and see you on the inside